Come, Lenya, let us pray. Pray for deliverance. Dear Lord, who art in heaven, we are in Koyenjikov, and we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Koyenjikov, I like it. It's exactly how I picture it. A quiet, pleasant village, not too large. The perfect place for a new schoolmaster to begin his career. We are a simple people, dear Lord. Did you happen to see two dozen sheep? Two dozen sheep? Yes, there are 14 of them. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Well, if you see them, would you deliver a message? Uh, a message for the sheep? Yes. Tell them the shepherd is looking for them, and they should tell you where they are, and then I'll come and get them. Thank you. We know not what we do, because we know not what we do. Wait, wait, uh, your name, please. Snetsky. Uh, and your first name? How soon do you need it? Never mind, I forget your first name. Oh, I did. I am not smart at Stolchinsky. I am to be the new schoolmaster. Is that a fact? I am very honored to meet you, Leon Stepanov Stolchinsky. I am something, something, Snetsky. Will you be staying tonight? You don't seem to understand. Koyanshkov will be my new home. I'm going to live here and teach here. I am, if I may say so, an excellent teacher. Oh, they all were. They came by the thousands, but not one of them lasted through the first night. You mean you've had thousands of teachers? More. Hundreds. We're unteachable. We're all stupid here in Koyanshkov. There's a town or a village more stupid than all of Mother Poland. Russia. What? All good people, mind you, but not a decent friend among them. Fish, fresh fish for sale, nice fresh flounder and halibut, good piece of carp for lunch. Good morning, postman. Got Do I have any mail? Uh, I'm the postman. Uh, I have all the mail. Now, are you telling me that every man, woman, and child. All stupid, including me. Talk to me another 10 minutes or so and you'll begin to notice. I was hired by Dr. Zubritsky to teach his young daughter. Teach his daughter? Impossible! The girl is homeless. 19 years old and she just recently learned to sit down. She's homeless. She doesn't even know the difference between a cow and a duck. Well, not that it's an easy subject, mind you. Something is up here. I thought nothing of it then. But when I first saw the advertisement, I did notice that every word was misspelled. Now I'm sure Dr. Zubritsky will explain it all to me. Then I'm in good health. Oh, the best. The best of health. You'll live to be 80. I'm 79 now! Well, you've got a wonderful year ahead of you. questions I wanted to ask you first. Young man, have you ever heard of the curse of Kolyenjika? I can't say that I have. Well, 200 years ago, a curse was put on this village that struck down every man, woman, child, and domestic animal, including their ancestors for generations to come, leaving each and every one of them, and you'll find this hard to believe, with no more intelligence than a bump on a log. My initial impulse was to panic. Even my secondary impulse was to panic. To educate is one thing, to, to break curses is another. Master Tolchinsky, may I introduce our daughter, Sophia Irina Elenia Zubritsky. Miss Zubritsky? We must begin as soon as possible. Not another moment should be lost. I will return tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock sharp. Oh, forgive me, sir. I was just passing by. May I introduce myself? I know who you are. You're the new school teacher who has come here in a pathetic attempt to break the curse of Kolenshnikov. The curse can only be broken if you educate her, which you can't, or if she marries me. Or if she marries me. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Do you understand? Don't ask me that question anymore. Liam, I cannot be taught. I don't like the way this is going. Maybe this one will be our salvation. What's wrong with your cow? He's tired. I've been milking him since 4 o'clock. Upside down? You get a little more cream that way? Cream! Fresh cream! You can right from the spigot! Two copecks a mouthful! Cream! Right from the udder! Fresh cream!